children welcome to the accountancy class as we know there are two systems of accounting they are single entry system and double entry system under double entry system dual aspects are recorded that that means there should be one debit or one and one credit for recording transaction the dual aspects of salary paid rupees 2000 are salary account and cash account but in the case of single entry system only one aspect is recorded for example salary paid rupees 20000 only one aspect of salary paid recorded in the book of accounts this account these records the records keeping in single entry system are incomplete records they are not following following the double entry system of accounting In single entry system, we can prepare trial balance and trading and profit loss account and balance sheet. The objective of preparing trial balance is to know the arithmetic accuracy of business transactions. In single entry system, we can prepare trial balance, so arithmetic accuracy of business transactions cannot be calculated or ascertained. Another statement is trading and profit loss account. Trading and profit loss account is an account. In single entry system, only one aspect is prepared, so we can calculate or can, company cannot uh, calculate the actual amount of profit. The objective of preparing trading and profit loss account is to know the profitability of the concern. In single entry system, only single aspect is prepared or single aspect is recorded, so. Uh, there is no there is no way to calculate the amount of profit in the same way in single entry system we can prepare balance sheet balance sheet is a separate statement which is prepared to know the financial position of the company that means in single entry system we can uh, we can uh, calculate the arithmetic accuracy profitability and financial position of the concern but in the case of a double entry system both aspects should be recorded so we can pre we, uh, we can prepare trial balance profit um, profit and loss account and balance sheet in this module we are going to prepare going to solve one problem manveer started his business on 1st april 2016 with the capital of rupees 450000 on march 31st Two thousand seventeen, his position was as under. There is a cash balance of ninety nine thousand, bill receivable balance of seventy five thousand, plan of forty eight thousand, land and building one lakh eighty thousand, furniture fifty thousand. He earned rupees forty five thousand from his friend. He withdrew rupees eight thousand per month for his household purposes. Calculate the amount of profit or loss. My dear children, there are two methods for calculating the amount of net profit. The first method is by preparing trading and profit and loss account. In trading and profit and loss account, first we want to enter the amount of gross profit on the credit side. The next step is to enter all the incomes on the credit side. The various incomes are commission received, discount received, interest received, rent received, etc. Then on the debit side, we have to enter all the indirect expenses. That is, salary paid, commission paid, interest paid, rent paid, interest on drawing, interest on uh, various assets, depreciation, provision for doubtful debts, bad debts, advertisement expenses, refreshment charges, conveyance tax charges, etc. After entering these all indirect expenses, the next step is to calculate the balancing figure. The balancing figure may be net profit or net loss. This is the first method. The second method is by preparing statement of affairs and by preparing statement showing the calculation of net profit. For calculating the amount of net profit under second method, first we want to calculate or prepare statement showing the calculation of statement of affairs statement of affairs is a statement which shows the closing balances or opening balance of various assets and liabilities 
when we are preparing the statement of affairs by taking the opening balance of various assets and liabilities we will get the amount of opening capital if we are preparing the statement of affairs with by taking the closing balance of various assets and liabilities the net amount will be closing capital after getting opening capital and closing capital the next step is to prepare a statement showing the calculation of net profit in the statement first we want to enter the closing capital if there is additional capital reduced deduct that amount subtract opening capital if there is any drawings add that amount with that net amount if there is interest on drawings add that amount also sometimes there may be interest on capital deduct that amount from the net amount the net balance will be net profit or net loss in this problem the opening capital of rupees 4 lakh 50000 given then closing balance of various assets and liabilities also given so first we want to prepare statement of statement of affairs as on 31st march 2017 first we want to enter or transfer the amount of cash of 99000 bill receivable of 75000 planned of 48000 land and building of 180000 furniture of rupees 50000 on the other side there is no liability given so no need to transfer or enter liabilities on the liability side then find out the total that total same total will be the closing capital after calculating the closing capital the next step is to prepare a statement showing the calculation of net profit in that statement first we want to enter closing capital the next step is to deduct the opening capital of 450000 then next we want to deduct additional capital in rupees that is 45000 he owned rupees 45000 from his friend sushil on that date that means there is an additional capital in rupees deduct that amount then one more information given he withdrew rupees 8000 per month for his household purposes that means 8 months drawings 8000 rupees drawings of 8000 given per um, this 8000 for per month so we uh, next step is to we want to convert this per month salary into per annum per month drawings into per annum so 8000 into 12 that is 96000 is the amount of total drawings and this amount of total drawings then you will get the net amount the net amount will be net profit or net loss my dear children, these are the important steps to be undertaken or these are the important steps to be considered while calculating the amount of net profit. Thank you.